Hello family, my name is Eunice and if you did not know, now you know. So let's get into the video. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time and if it's not, welcome back. My name is Eunice and I post videos about spoken word poetry, girl talks, as well as vlogging, among other topics. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and also put that post notification bell on so that you will be updated each and every time I upload any new videos. And before we even get started, guys, make sure you thumbs up for this video. It will really, really help me a lot. So in this video today, I'm going to be talking about how to get a thousand subscribers as fast as possible if you are a small YouTuber. So make sure you watch until the end of the video so you do not miss any points. And also by the end of this video, I'm going to be giving shout outs to those people that have been really supportive to my channel. They are always there to watch my videos. They are always there to support me. I really do appreciate these people. So make sure you stay until the end because you might be one of them. So let's go. The first thing that I want to talk about is consistency. So when I started my channel, I think it's been now three years, I really did not mind about how many times I post my videos. I was actually posting one video each and every month and then I was questioning myself, why is it that people are not watching my content? Why is it that I only have 40 subscribers at the end of the year? It was really, really frustrating. You need to be consistent, guys. Because if you are a small YouTuber, nobody knows you. Nobody knows that you exist. So the more videos you put out there, the more people get to know you and the more they are likely to engage with you and subscribe to your channel. So make sure you choose at least two days in a week to post your videos. People actually do it every day. They post videos every day. You can do that if you can, or you can post a video in a week, two videos in a week, three videos in a week, four videos in a week. It's up to you, but make sure you're at least consistent in posting your videos. Don't forget your YouTube channel. If you start your YouTube channel, you need to update people on what's going on. You need to put videos out there so that you will get traffic to your channel. The second thing I want to talk about is sticking to a niche. So I know most people are not going to agree with me on this one because I have a very different opinion when it comes to sticking to a niche. For me, I believe that if you're just starting up on YouTube, you need to do a variety of niches. You need to do a lot of different topics because your YouTube channel might be about you, but it is not for you. It is for your audience because you're putting your content out there for people to see, for people to learn from it, for people to know about it. So it, was, it is not for you. So make sure that you are trying each and every video that is out there, each and every topic that is out there. It ranges from makeup to designing, to poetry, to cooking, to vlogging, each and everything try it out because at the end of the day your audience are going to be the one to decide wh what content they want to see on your channel so make sure you try a variety of niches don't isolate yourself to one niche because you might never know you might be good at something else so try it out and then your audience are going to tell you by the kind of views that you're having the kind of likes that you're having or what they are saying in the comments you will get to know what kind of niche you have to stick to after maybe reaching a thousand subscribers then you can decide on whether to stick to one niche or continue trying different things out there but do not niche do not niche if you're just starting out on youtube the third thing that i want to talk about is video and audio quality so I know that most of us as small YouTubers, we want people to click on our video, but I believe that we also want people to stay in our video. We want them to watch the video at least halfway or until the end of the video, but that can never happen if your audio quality is poor, if your video quality is poor. I don't mean you need to buy a camera to shoot your videos. You can use your phone, but the way you edit your videos is what makes a good video. You can add memes, you can add 
something fun in between the videos or you can use a very good editor to edit your video that way your video quality is gonna be good and also you need good lighting so the one that i'm using now is actually a ring light i'm gonna show it to you guys it's actually affordable you guys can actually try and buy this you can get this it's actually a small ring light that i'm using you can buy this and use it to film your videos using your phone because i'm actually using my phone right now so you can do that using your phone and if you cannot buy a ring light you can use natural light open your windows up get that natural lighting in while facing the window you can shoot your video and also get a very good quality video and for the audio quality you can get these lavier mics they are actually affordable you can get them or else you can use a very good editor to remove the background noise or some echoes in the background that way your audio quality is good and people are gonna watch your video from the beginning to at least half or maybe to the end because if they notice within five seconds of your video that your quality is poor they're gonna click off and watch something else so we don't want that we want people to watch our videos at least at least if your video is 10 minutes at least let them watch three or four minutes it's okay so the only way to do that is to be mindful of your video quality as well as audio quality as well another thing that i want to talk about is the use of tags and description so have you ever taken time to fill out your description box this is something that i've just learned a few days ago that you really need to fill that description box it is there for a reason that is where you promote your other videos that is where you let people know of your social media links that is where you promote your content that is where you tell people what your video is gonna be all about before they even start watching your video that way people are impressed like okay so this is what i'm gonna find in this video don't leave your description box empty fill it up fill it up you can put everything there your social media links your description about the video and everything else you can put it there and for tags tags are words related to your video content so let's say if your video is about love you can search tags related to love so for me i use tube buddy and i use youtube tags it's actually an app on uh, android phone you can find it on play store download it you can type the title of your video there and then it's gonna give you all these tags you need to put them there so that if somebody is searching for something related to whatever that you shot it's gonna appear on the suggestion list it's gonna appear there so use tags as well fill up your description don't leave it empty guys use your social media platforms to promote your channel so it might be facebook it might be instagram it might be twitter it might be snapchat all those social media platforms you can use them to promote your channel you have a number of people on those social media links let them know if you're starting a youtube channel send them the links tell them to watch your videos and if they can share the video tell them to share the video to their friends as well that way your friend is gonna watch the video your friend's friend is gonna watch the video your friend's friend's friends is gonna watch the video so that way you get a lot of people watching your videos and then you build up your audience you get more subscribers as well so make sure you use your social media platforms to your advantage another thing that i want to talk about is join communities facebook communities instagram communities youtube communities there are a lot out there for content creators for youtube now i think during this uh, lockdown there is this thing about small youtube uh, support going on so they bring a lot of content creators together that way you get to know what your friend is doing in their channel you get to connect with them you get to make those genuine connections and i for one do not promote sub for sub because if you do sub for sub you're gonna have a thousand subscribers and five views because those people are not going to watch your content. They just, they just want to reach 1,000 subscribers. But be aware. Because you do not only need 1,000 subscribers. You need 4,000 watch time. 
four thousand watch time it is not easy guys it's hassle so you need to make sure that the connections that you're making in these communities are genuine people are genuine people that are going to come back and say i got you sis i watched this video i watched this video and you do the same that way you grow so make sure you're making genuine connections in these youtube communities facebook has facebook communities as well for small youtubers you can join that as well and promote your channel the last thing that i want to talk about is engage with your audience guys it's very important when somebody asks you a question in the comment section let's say you shot a very good video they liked your editing skills and they ask you what application did you use to edit your video don't just look at the comment and say mm hmm get back to them and tell them because the more you are likely to help other youtubers growing the channel the more likely they are there to stay and promote you as well so do not ignore those kind of questions if somebody asks you something make sure you return back to them and sometimes you don't actually get only questions you get bad comments like somebody say i think your audio quality is bad or your video quality is bad the next time you're shooting a video, you will make sure that you don't make that mistake. So check that comment section and engage with your audience. Know what your audience are telling you about your videos. Maybe they want you to try some new videos. Maybe they are suggesting something you, use, you should use to edit your videos. Maybe something else. So make sure you engage with your audience. Do not ignore them because you are there for them your channel is there for them so make sure you are engaging with your audience so guys i know how frustrating it is when you're trying to grow your channel from zero subscribers to a thousand subscribers i'm gonna give an example of myself before when i used to shoot videos i go through all this process of shooting a video i edit my video i edit my thumbnail then I put my video out there and I end up getting 20 views and two likes of which one of those likes is mine. It's really, really frustrating. You're like, why is it that some people, they just do one video and then the channel blow up. You are not those people. You are you. You never know. Maybe your 20th video is going to be the one that's going to blow up or maybe your 100th video is going to be the one that's going to blow up. Your 200th video is going to be the one that's going to make your channel to blow up. So make sure you keep on creating content. Make sure you keep on shooting videos. Make sure you keep on learning on how to edit, on how to grow your channel. Don't give up, guys. One day, just one day, one day, you're going to sing a new song. You're going to be proud of your hustle. So keep on creating content and keep on growing. So I want to give a shout out to a few people that have been really supportive to my channel. Some of them are not content creators, but they're always there to support me. So shout out to Yugen Ganesh, shout out to Lifumelo Tiko. If you like my content, you would definitely like her content as well. Shout out to Making Her Story. She's my sister. You need to check her out. I'm going to put these people's links in the description so that you guys get to check them out as well. Shout out to Toast with Zandi. She she is always, always a sister keeper. She's always there to watch my videos. Shout out to Misaro Chwea. She's always there also to support me. And a few people that are not content creators, shout out to Talu, shout out to Tupi, shout out to Lufina, shout out to Melvin, shout out to Tom, shout out to Upa, shout out to... Oh my god, there's so many people that are always watching my content and I really, really do appreciate it. Shout out to Paso Tempo as well. Shout out to Patricia. Shout out to... 
Shout out to Chifundo Mpokosa, who I almost forgot. He's always the first person to watch my video most of the time. So if I did not mention your name in this video, I'm gonna mention your name in my next video because this is what I'm gonna be doing in each and every video. I'm gonna be giving shout outs to the people that are really supporting me in my channel. So I don't take you guys for granted. I really do appreciate you. Look, your girl is now at 1,000. How good is that? I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so excited guys you don't know the excitement that i feel to some other people it might not seem exciting as i feel but it's really really something that i am proud of something that is making me so excited it's making me happy so you cannot understand the joy that i feel in my heart the hustle that i had to go through to reach people out to come and watch my videos i am really so excited for this achievement guys it's amazing <sighs> i really like how i'm feeling right now <laughs> so thank you guys for always being there one more thing guys keep watching my videos don't stop watching my videos because now I need to get that 4,000 watch time. So I will still need you to come by and watch my videos. So keep on watching my content. Keep on commenting on my videos. Keep on liking my videos. I appreciate you so much more than you know. Thank you so much for always being there. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And if you reach the end of this video, I want you to comment hooray in the comment section so i'm gonna see if you watched until the end so let's fill this comment section with hooray if you reached up to this end thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button and join my family and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video thank you bye